Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is me Prithish. So today we will be exploring a new tool developed by us, which is ProxTTK, which lets you create amazing applications straight from your terminal. This is going to support Figma, Sketch, and even though Adobe Photoshop. This is a great application to create modern and beautiful GUI using tkinter as the base module. So let me show you what are the things that are required to create that beautiful modern GUI straight away with our application. Alright, so by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create a modern application just like this one where you can enter the student name like here. And also you can enter the role number. And then click on this add student option in order to add that student. Now you can see this has a nice hover effect when we click it. Now this is the effect that we have added. Now this is very simple. You can basically hover over this button and you can even though click that button. So this is the final application that we will be creating using our tool which is ProxTTK. Installing ProxTTK is pretty much simple. What you have to do is first of all visit our GitHub page. I will be giving the link in the description. And you have to do is clone the repository. So you need to just copy and paste this code into your terminal. And then navigate into that directory. So in order to install it all you have to do is just type in pip install pillow. In order to run it in your machine you can type in python proxttk.py. If you are using Mac, then you can type in Python 3 proxttk.py. So in this first edition of proxttk, we basically can set the application name, we can set the application resolution, and we can even though add certain widget which are like the button, label, and much more. And we will be also adding a rounded corner entry and a rounded corner button along with the image. So in this first tutorial, we are going to learn how can you add very simple widget and even though how can you add a rounded corner button just using proxttk and create that basic application. So in order to follow along with the tutorial, you can download the student management GUI application. This contain a Figma file which you can modify according to your need. And this will also help us in maintaining the project. So with that being said, let's start designing the basic application window. Alright, as you can see over here, we have the main application window, which is this one, which is student management system and the name and button. So let me show you how can you design this entire code. So now to create a button, all you have to do is simply choose this rectangle button and then just drag it in. Let's keep it at the center. And let's do is basically down the corner a bit and change the color. You can choose any color. And then you have to do is add a text. Alright, so this is the rounded button in this case. Now, one additional thing you have to do is simply create another rectangle just like this one. And change its color to the background color, which in this case is white. And then move that rectangle below here and then group them all. Control or Command G on your keyboard in order to group it. Now, all you have to do is simply export this button. So once you are done with it, you simply have to export this button. So let me just show you what I have done in this example. So in this basic example of student management system, what I have done is uh, simply added this button over here with the same effect with the rectangle behind and this main frame over here. So once you are done, you have to do is export this element. So once you are done, just click on over here and then export it as a PNG format and one X. Now you can export another button color so that you can have that hover effect. So I'm going to be kind of uh, making it a bit darker and then let's export it again in order to have that hover effect. So once you are done, now hide all those elements which contains buttons and the main labels. You can simply add labels to this complete GUI, but in this case we have static labels so we don't have to change them in our program. So I'm going to be exporting this entire image as a background format. So just click on here and you can export the image. So once you are done with the designing, now I'm going to be showing you how can you create your entry fields. So once you are done, just create a rectangle and then fill it with the color of the background or a bit lighter background and then you are done. Make sure that this should fit the entire box you have created over here. Something like this. Alright, so once you are done with this kind of thing, and export every each and every single thing you don't have to export this one all you have to do is hide this button and export this entire image and then you can 
export this button individually in a hover and normal state. So once you have exported it, you will see a button normal PNG and along with the button hover effect over here. So we will be setting this image as the background of our application. So once you are done, open the ProxTTK application. So ProxTTK is a command line based application which lets you create beautiful GUI straight away. So what I'm going to be doing here is set the application name. So you can set the application name. For example, you can hit one and let's set our application name to be student and hit enter. So I have entered a student management. You can type in anything. Let's set the application size. You can add a default one. So now we are going to add a background image. So I'm going to be hitting over six and let's type in the image name, which is image.png. So once you have generated the app, you will see a very simple window, but this time it should not contain any kind of rounded entry or even though the basic button. So let's add the button to our basic application. So what I'm going to be doing here is add a button with image. So you can select four over here and let's enter the button path, which is button dot png and the hover image path the hover button that we have exported which is button hover dot png and now we need to enter certain values or certain property so let me show you how can you get these so now all you have to do is select this button over here and once you selected it to see this properties tab over here now what you want to do is enter the x position so simply see this x position over here Make sure that your application normal or default value of x should be 0 and 0. Let me explain you what I'm saying. So this image should be at 0 and 0 over here. And let's type in the x value for our button. So I'm going to be selecting this button element over here and select that x value to be 31. Y value to be 431. And make sure that all these values should be in integer. It doesn't support the float values. So let's type in the width, which is 183 and hide to be 49 and once you are done you will be having a code over here so it basically generates a code side by side which allows you to see the errors and all so this is a great way of creating the main application so now what i'm going to be doing is creating the very basic rounded entry field so now to create a rounded entry field all you have to do is type 5 over here and let's just select this one this rectangle that you have created earlier inside that main entry field so I'm going to be just typing in the X position, which is over here, 45 and 296. Width to be 155 and this to be 44. And let's set the corner radius to be zero. And this is the important part. So I'm going to be setting up the color to same as the background color. So all you have to do is just copy this color over here and just type in hashtag and then paste your very basic color. Now we are also going to paste the similar color in the entry box and even though the border color. So let's set the default text should be enter student name here. This should be the very basic text. So do the similar steps in order to create another very basic entry field. So once you are done with all the steps, all you have to do is so export this code as pi file. So what you have to do is hit eight on your keyboard and just name it something like student and management dot pi. Now it will save it as student management dot pi and let's run our code. Let's see how it works. So as you can see, it is done. And as you can see, it has blended with the background over here. So this is the background image that we have added and this is the name. So I can type in my name again and simply enter the roll number over here so this is the very simple way of creating a very simple gui just using our tool and this is going to work with every single platform that you use like figma adobe xd sketch and even though photoshop so you can even though add this hover effect as you can see this button we have added the hover effect and you can click this button even though there are certain other option also in order to add a widget so you can just type in three and you can enter the widget like over here like label and you can type in the X position and Y position and the color and with the height and you can make the widget borderless even though. So we will be adding more feature to this application 
so please suggest them below and even though if you like to contribute then you can contribute us over in the gumroad by purchasing that template so in the first application you can simply create the basic application size and add some widgets like button labels entry field and text boxes and even though you can add an image widget and rounded entry field and, and background image even though and you can also generate the main code and run the application so all those things which are required for this to run is python pillow module and tk inter library so this was it i hope this video was really helpful and if it was then consider subscribing hit that like button below i will meet you in the video until then keep designing goodbye